All right, you guys, if you know anything about me, you know that I love a Dollar Tree hack and you also know that I love a Dollar Tree home decor. So I'm gonna share with you some of my absolute favorite hacks and we're gonna start with this very first one. You are going to need six balls. You can get six balls of any kind. I went with this package of kind of like plastic baseballs and uh, I did get two packages. That way I would have an even number. You could use the little basketballs. You could use the smaller baseballs. You could use the kind of uh, fuzzy little creature balls. Really any kind of ball works really good for this. However, I do think that the lighter the ball, the more challenging the game becomes. Then you're going to get six of these oversized solo cups. Now these oversized size kind of solo cups are like little coolers. You can find these in the summer entertaining kind of section with the 4th of July things and get six colors. It does not matter if they all match. I just happened to be able to get six of mine. I had two from last year and then I bought four this year. And when you take these, spread them out in the yard apart from each other, you've got a fun ball toss game. Now, you could also make this obviously kid friendly, but you could also make this very adult friendly with a very fun adult drinking game if you wanted to. Now, I'm gonna to have to say this next item is becoming one of my favorites. It has not always been a favorite, but it is Dollar Tree flowers. Dollar Tree flowers have really come a long way, and I feel like that they're getting better and better with our, you know, 25 cent increase, maybe more coming soon, but those increases seem to do seem to be paying off at least in some departments and the Dollar Tree flowers are no exception for that for me. I absolutely love them. What I love about them is that you can take a thrifted vase of any kind. You can put this up in a corner. It really helps brighten up a room. Also, as you guys know, I do have Mr. Otis. He's my little buddy. I would never want him to poison himself or to eat something that he shouldn't. And these faux flowers are kind of perfect if you do have pets. These are the cone flowers from Dollar Tree. And I have to say, I really, really love these. I'm loving the spring and the summer. I'm really, really looking forward to the fall and the Christmas flowers. How about you guys? Now this next item from Dollar Tree may look like some ordinary solar light, but nope, guess what? This actually comes with a steak. The steak is so easy to assemble. I was absolutely shocked on how tall it was once you did fully assemble it. And the light that it puts off is really, really good. Now, is it the brightest? No, absolutely not. But if you're wanting to accent something, maybe you're wanting to recreate kind of those little lightning bug kind of looks, this is a great solar light to be able to put in your yard. And I, again, I love these. I think what I'm going to do is put them along the pathway to my backyard and just kind of sprinkle them in with the other solar lights that I do have. That way it'll kind of remind me of, you know, like little lightning bugs when I grow up. I'm de definitely gonna have to go back and get more of these because they'll be gone soon. And then, you know how it is, we'll be wanting things like this forever. And uh, yeah, they're probably already gone. Let's face it, they're probably already gone from my Dollar Tree. <laughs> Now, if you are a Dollar Tree crafter, then you are always using some sort of cutting tools. You're probably using scissors, of course, but then you're also probably using some sort of uh, X-Acto knife or something like that to be able to cut very small pieces. And having a cutting mat on hand is something that is really, really good. Now, this particular cutting mat came from Dollar Tree. You can find this in the Crafter Square section. I've actually had this one for several years and I love this one so, so much. And I saw these restocked in the stores recently so definitely look for these. But I want to show you, I bought this one on Amazon and I bought this one probably, I don't know, maybe a month or so before I found this one at Dollar Tree. They're about the same age. They're not much difference in size between the two, but I will tell you, this one was $1.25 this one was almost $12. Get you a cutting mat, save money, $1.25. This will be the go-to easiest thing that you can have in your craft room. You can store this practically anywhere. And it is a really, really, really good tool to have in your arsenal of crafting. Arsenal of crafting, how's that? <laughs>
Now, I think most of you guys know that I have a house that was built in 1945. It's got some classic charm to it, but it also has some little modern updates that I've done here and there. In the backyard, I love to put these little pink flamingos out there. Uh, these right now are in the front yard. They're by my rose bushes that are out front. But at one time, I did have about eight of these in the backyard. They were centered around this little, like, floral kind of rock garden thing that I have in the back. And... Um, Unfortunately, a couple of the uh, flamingos kind of uh, died because my landscaper ran over them with his lawnmower not realizing that they were there because they, they are kind of short. Let's face it, they do sit kind of short for, um, you know, for they're, they're $1.25. They're short. And uh, I decided to kind of revamp that area a couple years ago. My landscaper felt horrible about it, by the way. And I told him, I'm like, don't worry. They were like $3, you know. Rest in peace, flamingos. But um, if you are looking to recreate something like this or have something kind of summer fun, these are really, really fun. And if you did want to make them longer or have longer legs, you could use the barbecue skewers or the long, like um, the, the, the shish kebab skewers. That's what I'm gonna call them. I don't know if that's what they are. But you could use those as well and uh, make the legs nice and long and... Uh, have some gorgeous pink flamingo ladies. I think you should get these. These are really, really fun in the yard. Now, if you're a big fan of the shore living line that Dollar Tree comes out with every year, then you're going to really, really love the fact that they've got these great glass canisters now. This is part of a lot of little glass pieces and little decorative pieces that Shore Living has come out with this year, but I really, really like these because they are so different and they are so unique. Now, these little glass canisters with the wood lid, Super, super cute. They are the perfect size to be able to put just about anywhere. I've got mine in my bathroom and I've got like my floss picks. I've got a oatmeal bath that I use that's in a vino. I also use things for like ear picks and Q-tips and different things like that. You could certainly put them in your craft room or maybe even in your sewing room. You could store buttons, different odds and ends them. There's definitely, definitely some value in these. Pick these up if you're a Dollar Tree. They were only $1.25. Super, super cute. And I love them so, so much. Much. Now, I have talked about this every single time summer comes around since I've had my channel, and this was not a um, idea that I came up with originally. This was an idea that a friend of mine shared with me, and I love this so, so much. I don't know why more people aren't doing this, but if you can get your hands on these hula skirts. This is the adult hula skirt. They do have a child size as well. These are so good for year round fun. Now, what I mean by that is that you could actually take this and you could use this as a hula skirt for yourself. You could also take this and do what I did with some double sided tape. And I actually put this around the edge of my table out on my deck and it kind of created a fun little entertaining area. I kind of had like a little luau, you know, a little Hawaiian theme with it. But what also is really, really good about this, and this is my favorite thing to do with these, by the way, is I like to use these long, nice pieces of raffia to tie nice, long raffia bows for any of my fall DIYs or even any of my holiday DIYs. Because if you're looking for a raffia bow, a lot of the raffia now is very stiff or it's just not long enough. And this gives you nice, long pieces now you can literally remove from the cording at the end or you could just cut right into it. You can store it right back into this bag. This is a craft room must have. If you love that kind of fall raffia, you can make a scarecrow with this. All kinds of really, really fun things. Fun things. So fun that I can't even talk. And of course, speaking of summer decor, you can't go wrong with the summer decor and the tablescapes that are available right now at Dollar Tree. There are so many really, really cute ideas and cute patterns and cute themes. This set actually is highlighted from one of my old videos and I still have this set and I use this set all the time. What I love about it too is that the color combos are typically very similar to these. So it's very easy to add pieces or even replace pieces if I have to. These are a must have, they're so much fun for a theme party, so much fun for summer entertaining and just sitting out by the pool. Right now it's like 200 degrees in Atlanta, so I'm not really sitting out there much. However, it is a good thing to have on those very, very random, you know, cooler, cooler nights and, and days that 
we're all dreaming of right now. I know my air conditioner is ready for the cooler days too. Baby girls working overtime. <laughs> Keep her together. <laughs> So I'm gonna be revamping my craft room very, very soon. We are going to do a lot of different things in here. New furniture, like new paint and everything. I'm also needing a new way to kind of store some essential tools. And when I saw these little toolboxes in the automotive section at Dollar Tree, I thought that this could be absolutely perfect. So I've been giving them a little bit of a trial run and I have to say, I'm actually really, really excited about them. Now they do hold a lot. Check out how how much I was able to get in this one little toolbox. And this is not even full, by the way. So what I think I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to make one toolbox maybe be like scissors or make one be like, you know, some just craft room essentials. And then I'm gonna have some that actually have some tools in it, like some screwdrivers and drill bits and things like that. Just anything that is kind of grab and go and that I really need to have as a quick source here in the uh, craft room. I was getting ready to say the tool shed. I guess the tool shed could be fun. I think I'll just call it the craft room. What do you guys think? <laughs> now, I am such a fan of these laundry bags that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. And the reason why I love them are for many, many reasons. But the sneaker cleaning hack is so, so good. All you have to do is take this out of the plastic bag. You want to put your sneakers, I usually just do one pair at a time, inside the bag. Tie a knot kind of towards the end of this bag. Put your sneakers inside your dryer, but hang the excess fabric and the knot on the outside of your dryer like you see here. And this allows you to wash your sneakers in the washer, but then put them in the dryer to dry and you don't have to hear the clunk, 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 clunk of your shoes going for 20 minutes or however long it takes. Now, obviously, depending on your sneakers, if it's leather or if they're, you know, bejeweled or something like that, you may not want to put your sneakers in the dryer, but this does give you some options to kind of play around with that. This is a brilliant idea, by the way, for canvas sneakers, anything that you can wash in the washer very, very easily. I love this this hack so, so much. And also these are not bad for laundry. I use a laundry service sometimes called Poplin. And what I like to do with Poplin is take these uh, laundry bags, separate my clothes, send it off to Poplin. They send it back to me within 24 hours. I'm not going to apologize for using and paying for any of these services, y'all, because I am busy. I work a lot. I have three jobs. And if I can send out my laundry and get it done and it comes back folded and on hangers and everything, and I can come in here, what is all this? I'm showing some cleavage. Uh, then I am super, super happy. It makes me a happy boy. It makes me be able to kind of create content for you guys. And uh, you know what? I think it's really, really cool. I am going to put a link in the description box for Poplin for you guys below. Definitely check it out because it is such a cool, cool idea. And uh, I mean, why wouldn't you do it? It's a dollar a pound, y'all. It's a dollar a pound. Check it out. <laughs> now, what I love about this summer entertaining and all the essentials line that comes out at Dollar Tree is that they also really create some things that can be super transitional and you can use them in a lot of different ways. For example, this caddy. This is a utensil caddy that's designed to coordinate with some of these summer, you know, drinkware and plates and different things. But you can also use this for your craft room. You know, as I mentioned, I am going to be revamping my craft room a little bit. I'm going to be kind of tidying up some things and having these little caddies to be able to put some essentials like pens and pencils and paints and glues and different things are going to be really, really cool. They're going to be able to be displayed. They're going to be pretty, but they're also going to be very accessible. I can pick it up carried along with me. And as you can see, it holds a lot. If you can find these, they're $1.25. They are in the area where the uh, summer kind of entertaining is. And I also found them, oddly enough, in the Crafter Square section. It's almost like Dollar Tree was listening. And, uh, you know, I think they probably do sometimes. This is a favorite item of mine that I picked up at Crafter Square. 
And uh, I was kind of blown away with them. Have you seen these chalkboard strips that you can get at Dollar Tree? Well, what's really cool about these is that they are good long strips, as you can see here, but they also have an adhesive back. So they're really, really easy to pull away. And there's also, by the way, two packages of strips in each one of these. Now, imagine taking a very large, like 24 by 36 frame. Maybe it's a picture that you have that you just don't like anymore. Maybe it's a really cheap, inexpensive frame that you purchased at a thrift store of some kind. Turn it into a giant chalkboard. Look at the possibilities of this. This chalkboard is absolutely huge. Now, in full disclosure, I did not make that chalkboard. However, I spent a lot of money on that chalkboard. If I would have had something like this back when I bought that, this would have been a no brainer to do this. You can peel these off, you can put them really, really close together and it will, you know, you'll see a little bit of seaming, but if you do it really, really carefully, this could be an absolutely fantastic large impact piece that you could have in your kitchen. Kind of like this chalkboard that I spent way too much money on. Just a thought. Now Dollar Tree has these new acrylic frames. So they're I say new, but they're not they're not new. They've had them for a while. They've had them in a lot of different sizes, but I recently saw somebody on TikTok do this and I thought that this was an absolutely brilliant idea. Now you can take the frame and of course use them for frames or what if you put a piece of cardstock in there and you just use the plain white cardstock? You've got an instant kind of dry erase board that can sit on your desk or on your countertop. Depending on kind of the size, they make these in a lot of different available options. You can get an eight by 10, you can get a four by six, you can get a five by seven. You can get them in a lot of different sizes, but what if you took it a step further and you made like a modern kind of dry erase board? You could put your favorite piece of cardstock in here that's got a favorite cute pattern like this cow print pattern here. And boom, you've got a very, very cool kind of modern dry erase board. Now, obviously you'd want to use a pen or a pencil that, or not a pen or a pencil, you would want to use a dry erase marker that was brighter than your background or just go with a wallpaper sample or a cardstock or even wrapping paper that had a little more of a subdue pattern or maybe even just a solid color. And you've got your very own custom dry erase board that sits right on your countertop. Your kids can use it. Uh, it could be perfect for the honeydew list or for your own grocery list. Lots of very cool options with this one. And I have to say, I think this is going to be a favorite of mine for a while. So I have this product that I discovered a while ago and I actually found it for the first time at Dollar Tree and it's Fabuloso. I love Fabuloso and I love all of the different scents about it. I definitely love all the colors. Also, if you know, you know, Fabuloso makes about eight different colors, I think. And uh, I am working on getting all of the different colors again in my laundry room and where my cleaning supplies are. And, uh, one, because it's pretty, and I like the rainbow colors that they all offer, but also Fabuloso is pretty fabulous for cleaning. Did you know that spray starch will change your life? And you can get it at Dollar Tree. Now, the one of the, there's several really, really cool hacks that you can do with your spray starch, other than, of course, what is going on with my shirts today? Other than having the, uh, you know, the nice crisp shirt that you iron with, did you know that spray starch can also help you keep stains out of your clothes and out of your kids' clothes, for example? Let's say you're at a barbecue, you dribble a little sauce or something on your shirt, hit it with spray starch. The spray starch is actually going to help the stain from not setting until you can wash it. Now, another great hack for spray starch is also to spray your canvas sneakers. Now, I have a pair of white canvas sneakers. They remind me of like Keds shoes that were back in the day. If you know, you know about Keds. And I really, really loved them. They were hard to keep clean. I had them in white. They did make them in men's, by the way. So don't, don't give me any in the comments. But the Keds shoes were really, really cool. They were white canvas. You spray them with spray starch before you wear them and it's almost like a Scotch guard. It's definitely going to help them and it's going to help them keep your uh, shoes really, really clean. Now, there's also a way that you can use spray starch if you are putting a temporary cuff in something. Let's say, for example, 
I wanted to put a little cuff in this shirt just to, you know, kind of sex it up a little, you know, because this, this isn't enough. Um, you can actually roll up your sleeves. You can use some spray starch. You can iron it. It will give your look a temporary, um, you know, cuff. You could do this with your pants or your jeans. Spray starch is kind of a nice thing to have on hand. This is a good little hack to keep uh, in the laundry room. Now, another great hack that you can get from Dollar Tree is a microfiber cloth. Now, microfiber cloth, this is in the automotive section. Obviously, this is fantastic for windows. Did you know that you can also take this and use this to clean your house windows with? What I like to do is dampen this just a little bit and then use this to kind of wipe off any of the gook that builds up on your windows, on the outside of your windows. Let's say, for example, you live near the ocean. There's a lot of salt that is in the air and you have to kind of remove that from your windows. Otherwise, it can get corrosive and, and really kind of mess it up. But this is an easy way to do this because if you dampen these cloths, you can use these to kind of wipe down the salt that is on, I don't know why I can't say salt today. The other thing that you can do with this too, like if you live in a state like I do in Georgia, where we have pollen basically from like, it seems like it's from March until November. Pollen is what's kind of got me a little hoarse today. This is also really good for wiping down your windows with that. Now I will buy probably like three or four of these because with the pollen especially, once I've wiped down the windows with them and kind of gotten rid of all the pollen and everything, I will not reuse these because I do not want to wash these in my house and then have that in my washing machine or anything. But at $1.25 each, this is a really, really good option. And these are also really good size, so you can cut these into smaller sizes as well. So keep that in mind when you're going by the automotive department at Dollar Tree. Years ago, when I was first kind of starting being a creator here on YouTube, I was staining a uh, wood project in my house. It was raining outside, so I couldn't go outside and do it. So I thought, oh, I'll just do it inside, no big deal. So I ended up putting a little bit too much stain on the piece that I was working on. And I went to the bathroom thinking, oh, I'll just rinse it off in the tub, no big deal. Well, guess what, guys? I have a cast iron bathtub because my house, again, was built in the 40s. And the stain from the uh, Varathane product that I was using literally stained the whole inside of my bathtub. And I thought that I had absolutely ruined my tub. However, the one product that I used that thank God I had on hand was the totally awesome cleaner from Dollar Tree. And all I did was just take the bathtub I filled it up with hot water. I poured an entire bottle of Totally Awesome in there and just started wiping down the tub where the stain had kind of uh, stained the tub. And uh, it came perfectly clean. It came so clean, I was shocked. I was shocked, I was thankful, I was happy. So any of the awesome cleaners that you can find out there, the Totally Awesome, I personally recommend them. Now, test them on your fabrics, test them on colors, different things like that. But if you're planning on staining some wood in your bathtub, this is a great one to have on hand. Now, when I was kind of looking through the cleaning supplies and everything at Dollar Tree, I also found this brand new oven and grill cleaner. So. I have an electric grill that I got from Charbroil several years ago. This is the Charbroil Edge grill and the grates on it um, are filthy. They're disgusting. And I took them outside and I sprayed them down with this totally awesome cleaner and I just followed the directions which were to spray it on and then to start kind of wiping and scrubbing it off. Now, I did use a little bit of a scrub brush to kind of loosen my gook a little bit because full transparency, the last time that I used my grill, which was, this is gross, but it was in the fall, in the early fall, I didn't clean my grates properly. So my grills, my grill grates have a little bit of, you know, gook on them, but the Totally Awesome Cleaner did really work. It got them a lot cleaner than they were supposed to be. And because I'm still kind of new at grilling, I've actually found out that some of that gook is actually good because it does help kind of season your grill grate. So um, I'm not gonna scrub it completely clean anymore, not gonna try anymore, but I am going to clean up better after myself. And the Totally Awesome Grill Cleaner is definitely something you should check it too.
So I grabbed this Dollar Tree um, stack rack, we'll call it, in the plus section. So this was $5. What I really loved about this is it does have a lot of versatility. You could stack the baskets on top of each other. They kind of have these clear plastic legs in there. And then you do have the option, of course, to separate it kind of like I did in my bathroom because my bathroom shelves are a little tighter and uh, it kind of works for me on that size. I could adjust it, but I wanted to be able to kind of use the baskets individually. I will tell you, tell you one thing though, the kind of acrylic legs that they come with, they're just plastic, but they kind of look like acrylic. Once you put them in to the slots, you're kind of committed to doing that. So keep that in mind. I would probably measure before you setting this up. When I did try to remove one of the legs to end up putting it in the bathroom, like I did, like I'm showing you here on camera, mine, one of my legs ended up breaking. So that was unfortunate. I don't feel I need to take it back to Dollar Tree because I'm not gonna be using it to stack. The stack is a, a generous stack, I would say, and it doesn't fit like under my kitchen sink or it doesn't fit under the bathroom sink. So make sure that you do have a, a very large kind of pantry or something like that to be able to use these in, or just separate them like I did and you'll have all kinds of really cool storage. And as you can see, they definitely hold a lot of goodies because I gotta stay clean. <laughs> so the one thing that I do really love about summer, summer entertaining, and for me, I guess it's probably really more like early fall, entertaining is being able to be outside and doing like a fun movie night or something. You can put a giant bed sheet like up on the fence. You could get a projector. Um, there are inflatable projectors and things that you can do, but I love to be able to sit outside and watch a movie and have popcorn with that. Now, these popcorn buckets that you find at Dollar Tree are super fun. You can get the oversized one that is just fantastic for you know, kind of recreating that movie theater experience. I also like that you can buy these individual packets. So if you had the really big popcorn bucket, but then you could put some smaller ones in for your friends. Movie nights, whether they're outside or inside, are certainly a lot of fun. And then I noticed these Coca-Cola branded ones as well. These are super fun to be able to have on hand as well. If you have a home theater or you have an outdoor home theater, anything like that, these are really, really fun to have on hand. They make a really fun theme night. It looks like you went the extra step, the extra mile for your friends, but you did not spend a lot of money. So definitely, definitely grab these if you can find them at your Dollar Tree. Another area that I'm really, really loving at Dollar Tree lately are the amount of frames that they're getting in. They're getting in some really, really beautiful frames like these mirrored frames and some of these other detailed frames. They're fantastic for sharing family photos. They look more expensive than they actually are. They are still a little, you know, on the quality. However, I tend to put my frames or my pictures in frames and then I don't really like touch them or handle them much. So kind of keep that in mind, but there are some really beautiful frames and it's a great way to save some money. It's a great way to decorate and you can really make a big impact and a nice impact in your space without having to spend a lot of money. As long as you don't touch them, you know, or let the kids touch them because some of these frames, they won't break in a minute and you know, but it was $1.25. Glass bottles at Dollar Tree are another really cool thing that you should grab. They have some glass bottles that have these little lids. They're decorative. They're really, really beautiful. You can actually create a really cool gift with these also. Now, you could very easily put some bath salts or something in these. You could also buy some shrink wrap if you wanted to and kind of create a little seal at the top. Put these in a gift basket with some bath salts and maybe some other skincare related things. And you've got some really cool gifting options for that special someone in your life. I really like too that there's a lot of different variety that's available in all of these. You can get them for really almost any kind of decor style and they're super, super fun, super, super versatile. And even if you're not putting bath salts or anything in them, they are just really fun to even use as a bud vase or just decorative accents around the home.